Hi everybody, you're watching Vitorials, my name is Alex and in this I have a good video for you. I think it's good, uh, it's up to you to decide what is good or what is no by hitting this like button and subscribe to my channel. So first of all, today I want to invite all of the people who are building the web experiences in Adobe Illustrator or drawing for the web uh, in Adobe Illustrator and using the grid systems. You know that uh, a lot of websites are using the Bootstrap grid system, Foundation uh, grid system there, a skeleton web system and so on. So uh, right now I want to show you a simple trick how to do it within the one click, how to build the grid system within the one click. We are using the Bootstrap grid system. Uh, 12 columns on 70 pixels with the 30 pixels gap and uh, the way how I want you to build it is just by clicking this play button. This is it, you see, we can after make this boring stuff and don't mess around our templates and our documents. Uh, okay, so how to do this in Adobe Illustrator? Let's start with the new document. I want to go to the file new and uh, I'm walking around uh, web large this 1920 by 1080 click create and first of all I want to bring up this uh, action panel so go to the windows actions and I want to detach it from my panel and focus on it so uh, by default it uh, has this uh, default actions you can see this default action folder. Let me uh, use all of the folder and let me delete the bootstrap grid because we are going to uh, create this from the scratch. First of all, to cre start creating any action, you need to create a folder. So click on this icon, create new set. And I will call this set bootstrap. Click OK. Inside this folder, while selected, go and create new action. We are going to record our action just right now. So create new action. Click on this icon and call it, let's say, 1200 pixels. I chose this name because uh, Bootstrap has different column widths for different widths. So for this, that called desktop size in uh, bootstrap grid system it started from 1200 pixels and going so click record and we start record our action and uh, we need inside our action first create a column right so head over to the rectangle tool grab the rectangle tool and holding alt or option hit on the empty spot of your canvas to bring up the rectangle dialog box. Here I want to set width to 70 pixels and height to something uh, really great. So around 2000, uh, 3000 pixels will be OK. So click OK to create your first column. Now go to the uh, selection tool and double click on it to bring up a move dialog box. And here I need to set the position horizontal position value to 100 pixels why because it's the width of the column which is 70 pixels plus width of the gap which is uh, 30 pixels right uh, so don't touch any other things and click copy to create a duplicate of your column and set up it on this distance of 30 pixels which is a gap on uh, bootstrap grid. Now I want to use Ctrl D, Command D to create more duplicates of this command. So um, Command D, com Ctrl D. Now I have six and I need to do it six more times. Let me calculate. I'm uh, good to go. Uh, right now, what I'm gonna do, I want to select everything with Ctrl A, Command A, we have this shortcut here, and delete the stroke first of all, and set up the color. I want to set it to F4, A6, A6, but it's a matter of taste. Now I want to group it with Ctrl G, Command G, and align it to the 
horizontal align center. Click this icon. And there is it. This is our grid. You can also adjust the transparency. I am setting it to the 40%. 40 is okay. I can delete immediately when I stop playing the action. We finish. Uh, let me delete this uh, first transparency setup. And we are done. This is our action. Let me show you how to use it. Let me create another document. We have our bootstrap action here. And we need to play it. Click this icon to play your current action. This is it. This is how you can create the bootstrap grid action in, uh, in Adobe Illustrator. Now let me show you how to save it in the permanent. Go and save the action. In order to do this, we need to select the bootstrap folder and head over to this menu on the top right and click save action. Now call it as the bootstrap, save whatever you want, wherever you want. I'm saving it in the particular folder, bootstrap, click save. And now you need to position it if you want to permanently store it with your Adobe Illustrator setup. You need to go to the program files, Adobe, Adobe Illustrator CC 2019 or 2020, presets in US and actions. This is it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a nice day.